everybody it's crystal here with particularly peeler and this video is going to be about unpaper tiling or cloth napkins and if you're here I'm gonna guess that you're gonna try to learn a little bit about what the 411 on these bad boys is so you're either here for your budget or you're here because you notice that you make a lot of waste with paper products. So, either way, congratulations to you. You're considering an alternative. And that, just thinking about it, is where the big start comes from. Because I didn't do it until just one day it hit me. And I was like, why not? So, this is the alternative and it is a good one. These right here, we started, I think, three weeks ago, and I have about 30 of them. And as you can see, they're all kind of farmy. We live on a homestead. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three. My husband obviously has a job, so he's not here every day, so I get to be the little cow, pig, chicken, duck, goat, chicken. I already said chicken. Let's see. What else do we have? Rabbits. I mean, all that stuff. We got it. So I gotta, I gotta take care of it, and it's a really big part of our life. So that's the theme for our unpaper towels, which you can get any cotton fabric, which is what your topper will be, is cotton, and then your backer is flannel. And all you do is sew two pieces of those bad boys together, one on each side, and you have an unpaper towel, and that is about the easiest thing I think you could possibly do in the world. I mean, I can't sew at all and I managed to make these and I feel pretty good about them. But if you're considering unpaper tiling, there are a couple, you know, pros. I haven't really found a con yet, but I bet there will be one someday. But pro number one, you no longer have to buy something to throw it away. And to me, that's a big deal because I don't like wasting. So, not only am I wasting my money by throwing it away, but I'm creating waste for the environment by throwing it away. Now, I can throw it right into my washer and reuse it. Isn't that the big deal for stuff? Reuse. I mean, come on now. You don't have to throw it away. And that is a pretty big accomplishment. Now, we don't just use the unpaper towels. We also, here's a little tip, we also buy what Walmart considers a flower sack towel. Now, we were using these giant things right here even before we unpaper towel. And let me tell you, these things work great. We loved them, and that was kind of what got me on the, well, then why can't we just completely quit and unpaper towel? was because, I mean, we'd already started using flour sack towels to keep the heat on our food. Like, we would throw that over it instead of paper towels. Or we would throw that down as the grease catcher instead of five paper towels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, we already had that. And we also used just regular kitchen dish towels if we need something a little more absorbent or thick. So, we do use these. And we still use the fire sack towels. And I also have a stack of white washcloths for our kitchen. But we use washcloths, flower sack towels, dish towels, and these. And that's it for three weeks now. I haven't used not even one paper towel. None. And like I said, I have about 30 of these going. Right now, I think there's probably about 15 clean and 15 dirty. But the only inconvenience, or con, I guess you would say, is that you're doing laundry. But, you can wash this with anything. You can throw it in with your towels. You can throw it in with your clothes. Flannel does not fuzzy, I guess is the word. It doesn't shed like a towel does. So, actually, if you'll see this, I washed mine with my towels and I had some new washcloths so they of course fuzzied all over my flannel. 
which kind of made me like, because I just made it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's just a napkin. So I don't really, I'm not concerned about it. It still sucks stuff up just fine. So, and there's also another little, you can or cannot do if you would like to. You get little snap tabs and you attach them right here to your corners. And then you can roll them and put them on your paper towel roller like they used to be. Like where your napkins used to be. Ours, we're actually getting ready to install snap tabs to all these and putting them on a roller. But, you don't have to do that. That's just for the convenience of if you like being able to just snatch one off the roll. And I will tell you, since taking my paper towels down, I reached for that thing way too much. You, you really become conscious of something when it's not there anymore and you catch yourself trying to get it. I mean, I would basically, oh, I dribbled a little drop of water in the floor. Let me get this paper towel and clean it up and throw it away. And then I was like, oh my goodness, I'm creating a world of waste. So now I just feel so much better because I can take this cloth paper towel and it just goes right back in the wash and right back in the drawer and there it is again. I'm not throwing it away. I'm not wasting it. And I mean, at the end of the day, I guess that's kind of what the whole cloth movement is about is you're either budget friendly because you're only buying it one time or you're waste friendly because you're not ever throwing it away until it's completely used up, which I feel like would be forever in a day, honestly, to use these up. But I guess I will get off of my soapbox for my cloth paper towels now. And I just want to say thank you all for watching this and I hope you learned something. Um, I will probably post a video at some point of me making these if you're interested in finding out how to sew your own. But it's really basic. It's like an 11 by 11 square. Sew it, invert it, re-sew it, cross stitch it. I do that. A lot of people don't. I just prefer it cross stitch so the fabric doesn't separate when you wash it. Because then it kind of gets wonky jawed. I'm not cool with that. I'm really particular. And I like stuff to be able to be folded nice and neat. And whenever you sew the cross pattern in there, you get your um, fold line also. So that works good for me because I'm kind of, like I said, a little particular about that. <laughs> I guess that could be where my name came from. But, you know, particular with healers. <laughs> we are very particular about our lifestyle. And we live it just how we want to. But these super cutesy farm prints are from Hobby Lobby. I mean, super easy to get a hold of. Just run to the store. All you need is some flannel and some cotton. And if you don't have a sewing machine or you're not crafty or whatever, I'll be more than happy to sell you some to try out and see if you like them. It's fine by me. But, but these are seriously one of the best things I feel like I've done besides getting my clothes on. If you don't have a clothes on, I'm going to make a video on that. Y'all really need to get on that boat because it is amazing. It is so, I don't know, there's like a a gratitude feeling you get when you do it. Like these. I'm like, oh my gosh, I did not just create more waste. I get to reuse this every time. And it's seriously, I don't know, it just makes me feel awesome inside. <laughs> so thank you guys for listening to me. And like I said, I hope you learned something. Feel free to like, comment, share, ask me any questions you have. If you want to see me make a tutorial on sewing them up, Tell me, hey girl, make a tutorial on sewing those bad boys up. I mean, I'm here. Just shoot me a message or whatnot. Um, thank you all for watching, and I really hope you all have a blessed day.